just hesitate. I'm just building on everything the men of God said. Who are you? A peculiar people, chosen nation. Who are you? What is your dream? What is your vision? You just don't marry for marry. You just don't meet people. You just don't. Even if I have to connect with a male friend, it, 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 it must be for a purpose. You understand? Even the Bible says, iron sharpen iron. I can have friends just because they will help me being a better version of who already I am. You understand? But for somebody to help me being a better person, I need first to know who I am. I need first to know where am I going. I need first to know uh, what I want. I need first to know what I got design and purpose for my life. I need to know what is my position. Just the way you switch on that device first of all because you're going somewhere right and one of the thing okay i'm gonna get there that is the destination when i speak about position it means during this time where i am alone i i i, I need to know who i am i need to position myself in who i am what i have to do what i have to become what is the vision that god has given to me all these things let's say you you are called into ministry now you know who you are you know what god has called you but you don't connect to the right person like this lady who married an evangelist and she knew he was an evangelist she knew he was a man of god they got married but one or two things were not discussed properly now he's a brother he serves a church and a few years after in the marriage his ministry began to increase now he's no longer local he began to travel he will go for three days he will go i mean it doesn't have to be ministry the man of god spoke about a gynecologist you understand it can be anything else but in the the, the case it was he was an evangelist he will go for two weeks and come one week and come one day the wife said no me i don't want that life i didn't sign up for that life and he said did not I told you that I'm called? Did not I told you? Did not I told you? And she said, yes, but I didn't know that it was now you going for two weeks and coming back. No, no, I don't like it. He said, but you have to do with it because that's why God said to me, and it was a problem. She said, the next time you go, you want family when you're back. So he thought it was just anger. The next time he's gone, when he come back, she's gone with the neighbor okay i don't know who of you have heard about bishop noel jones okay his his elder sister is even a, she's an actress in the u.s grace jones the dark tall slender lady noel jones divorced and when he speak about his divorce he say one of the things i did not realize that she didn't marry the preacher she married the man so he acknowledges all mistakes even though the wife could have had her own mistake, it's fine. But the thing is, to him, she had to understand everything that is a minister, is a preacher, the church needs him. But he said, no, my wife didn't need a preacher. She needed her husband, the man. So these are things you discussed. Once you know who you are, and when I speak about who you are, we are children of God. Okay? We have... Um, if I have to use the example of, of um, uh, um, um, Abraham who made his servant Eliezer to swear to him that he will find a wife for him. If you read in the scripture, it says, swear to me that you will find a wife for my son among my kindred, among the people of my kind, my family. So if I know I'm a child of God, I think I am safer when I'm among the chosen people, having the same spirit. You understand? Again, the men of God say two can work together only if they do agree. Okay? Daddy prays here, mommy is in another religion. What will you teach the children? While Malachi said that what I God expect from marriage is for you to raise godly children. Now, which God are you going to raise the child from? Isn't it the word of God says, do not be unequally yoked. You must have the same yoke. The yoke of Jesus. Because if my yoke goes this direction, yours goes this direction, we will never agree in the house. And two people who don't agree cannot be together. 
So you need to know who you are, where you're going, what your vision, your, all these things. Now, based on that, from knowing who you are and what you have, now you can determine the second thing on your GPS. You put your destination. Fanabel Park, 58, La Rue, and so on. You click it. It means, what, what is my destination? I know my position. I know who I am. I know my, I know, I know. Now, what is my destination? Right? My destination now, this is a problem. Most of the sisters, especially sisters, brothers, male, they're different. I realize men, all they look, all, all they need is somebody who can help them carry whatever they can carry. But women are mostly choosy and, you know, sometimes even they can know how the kid will look like just by the looking at the brother. And they say, I, I, my kid will be ugly here, not, not this one. So I don't know how they can do that. I'm not lying. I know. I've been. Uh, it's true, eh? Thank you. So, so now what is your destination? Where are you going? Most of the people, they playing the wedding. And that is wrong. How long a wedding lasts maximum? A day you must be rich to have a day wedding. 24 hours. Hours. Nowadays, four hours, right? You come around 8 by 12 midnight. Everybody must go because the room is booked until midnight. So you spend two years, three years, planning for an event that will last for uh, four hours. Instead of planning marriage. Marriage lasts life until death sets you apart, right? But a wedding is just an event that lasts four days. And usually we dream the wedding day. We don't dream the marriage. We don't even have any vision, any picture of the wedding. You see, so that means you don't even know where you are going. At such a point that when things begin to happen, you are wondering why is this happening? No, I didn't sign for this. I didn't want this. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. No, but this is how it happened. If you knew where you were going, you will know that sometime, some of the places when we get there is a bit bumpy. Some of the places gravel roads, but we're still in the right direction. But because you don't know where you're going, when you say gravel road, you think that, hey, it is the end of it. No, it's just gravel road. That will just give you more wisdom, more understanding, more things. I mean, you can't argue over the same thing with your partner. If you are um, wise enough, you are spirit-filled, uh, once you deal with one thing, you deal with, you will never come back over it. That's how it goes. It makes you better. So, what is your destination? If you know what is your destination, you can plan. If you know where you are going. So, the thing is, when I know where I'm going, when I know now where I'm from, what is my position, what is my destination, my destination is that I'm going in such and such place, and for me to reach such and such place, okay, this is what I'm going to need. So, I'm not planning the wedding here. I am planning the marriage. And the marriage will last up to 60 years or, and so on. So for me to travel to a destination that will last 60 years, I need to be equipped for that. Okay? You see, I'm still, I'm still in the single empowerment, time of preparation. You understand? That's what you can do now. So after I have identified the destination, I put on my GPS and I press... Uh, enter the next thing number three is gonna give to me is a different route the shortest one the one that doesn't have traffic lights the one that is the longest the one it gives you maybe two three four scenarios to your destination before you begin to drive and that when you begin to choose which one you will you will you will go are you with me that is now your planning okay your preparation so now i know who i am i know the vision i know i know i know also where i am going that's my destination now has the plane has the road that i will choose will tell me what do i need who do i need because my destination is 1000 kilometers is is, is is in port elizabeth i need a full tank right I need some extra 500 for the petrol just on the going 
right? Oh, I'm going to get tired. I think I need somebody to drive with me. That when the connection begin to come. He spoke about the connection. That way you begin to connect with the people. You want to build a house. You will connect with an architect. You will connect with the municipality. You will connect with a bricklayer. You will connect with the bank for the loan. You will connect with a lot of people. That's the same principle. You connect with God for what you want. You connect with people. And if you connect with the wrong people, it means you have wrong companionship. Wrong companionship spoils you. Your choice is messed up. When you hang around, the man of God said it, you hang around with the wrong people, they will make you looking in the wrong direction. They will make you looking in the wrong thing. You will see marriage maybe has escaping from parent, parental authority because that person suffers from their house. So that person wants to be married because she suffers. Now you think also, if I marry, I'm free. You rush into marriage where you didn't even need to rush. She needed to rush, escaping something. So when you, 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 you know where you go, you begin to plan, you begin to connect. And sometimes you connect with the people who will connect you. Sometimes you will connect with the people directly, but you don't connect with anyone since you know who you are. You will connect like Adam who said, this is the same kind as me. You will connect with people like you. Even though, it's, even though it's not them, but they will connect you to the them. I have a friend, he's a brother to me, he's a medical doctor. He's, we knew each other from, 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 from medical school. He's married to uh, this lady that is like a sister to me. She's a prophetess. She's like a sister, a young sister to me. How did it happen? This is a good brother we studied together. He came sleeping overnight at my place because every single Friday we were studying together the whole night. Now, one day I'm inviting him in our prayer group, which is at the sister's place. And as we go, we go, we go, we go, then they end up connecting and telling us, guys, okay, we have to tell you, it's been a month or two months that we connected, this and that and that, we are together. Wow. Why? Because the right connection, the right people you hang around with will connect you with the right people. You see, this lady, she goes, and I love what, what, what the man of God said, remain a child of God. Remain where God has called you. Remain faithful even in the insignificant thing that you do in the family, in the church, in the house. Remain in them because you don't know how your blessing will come. This lady, she goes to get water from the well. And she sees this old man coming. And his camel are thirsty. And she proposed, can I give you water? He said, yes. Can I also give to your camel? He said, please. She's giving water to the camel. But what was on the back of the camel? They were carrying the lobola. Because when Elisa went to look for a wife for his master's son, he had already the lobola things on the camels and they were tired carrying that thing the person you are helping you don't know is a carrier of the one that will bring you the connection but since it looks like nothing in the church to you nothing in the air say, ah, that's a nothing i want the people of, of, of my level who will give me but you don't know this woman she's 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 busy mopping the church every sunday every sunday after service with the very single dress that she's been wearing for years because she was she was from a poor family but guess what man of god that happened to um some of you will know dr silas he came here a long long time ago his friend came from from france then he comes he preaches but after preaching he called the pastor he said, Pastor, can I please speak to that sister? He speaks to the sister. And then he said, I'll speak to you. Let me speak to your pastor. Man of God, it's been a month. I'm not married. And I've been asking God for a wife. It's been a month that I've been seeing my wife in a vision. And I've seen her exactly the way she is, the way, what, the way she's dressed. And this is exactly what God has been showing me. You see, that very same dress of shame, but it was the shame of the dress of identification. You see, through that dress, that was a shame because she only had that one thing she wore. But that was the sign of identity. By being faithful to God, 
it might be in the house of God, it might be in your parent house, it might be even in the house of your auntie which is torturing you or your uncle which is, it might be anywhere, but if you're faithful to do the will of God, God's grace will ne never miss to locate you. You see, you need to know what you need it will take you there. And once you know, because the man of God spoke about knowledge, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, now I need to know what I need to get there. You need to grow in the word. You need to pray. You need to know the things that will help you keeping the place you are going. You're not prayerful. You don't. You can't stand for uh, pray to get the marriage. When you get it, what tells you that you're gonna keep it? Because you, you are not even prayerful. You need to equip yourself. That's why I say it's a time of empowerment. When they say, "Come, let us pray. Let us fast. Let us intercede," what you don't know, maybe God is training you to protect your future blessing. Maybe God is training you how to teach the children that he will entrust you with. But because you don't see it that way, all you want marriage, 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 marriage. You despise everything they teach you. You despise every church program. You despise everything. By the time you get in marriage, you can't even pray. You can't even teach your children. You can't do nothing because when God was equipping you, you can't. And then the men say, ah, this is a useless wife because I don't know what you're doing in this house. Or the wife says, this is a useless man. You know nothing. You can't even work. You don't even know. Because you, time of empowerment, you must enjoy it. You must enjoy it. I deliberately, deliberately um, choose for three years not to engage or to date because I called it preparation time. I'm not asking you to go for three years if you can't. I choose three years. God didn't say to me it shall be three years. No, I choose that for this years I'll be praying, I'll be studying the word of God because when I get into other things I'll never have time to do this thing again. So let me rather do them now because when you are single there are plenty of things you can do. Okay? It's not a punishment. There are plenty of things you can do when you are single. You can study, you can do your master. Before, by the time you start having kids, your husband is traveling, ministry and all this. It's tough. It is tough. It is very tough very tough you understand so you use that time now that you know who you need number four you start driving your car isn't it you take action your action is based on everything that you have planned you have decided that you know that you have connected right and number five let me close there not to take too much time you need to keep records if I don't know if Thomas, this Thomas Edison or is the other guy because we said it's not Thomas Edison. It was a black guy who discovered the bulb and Thomas Edison. You know the story. So whoever discovered, if he didn't make note of what he was doing, he would have done the same mistake 1,000 times. Never forget to write. But writing what? The vision. Even mistakes that you have done, learn from them. Even if you had a previous relationship which didn't work, learn from it. But write what God tells you. Write where you are going. The Bible says, write the, the, the um, what is this translation? The message translation says, write the vision message with big block letters that they can read on the run. It means if you keep writing you will keep reading and it will help you running in the same direction. That's what I can say for now. God bless you.